Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to deal with hydras. So whether it be the Gripen Hydra Spiral, the Fujing Hydra, the Spectre Hydra, you know, we've all run into these really annoying builds out there on the battlefield, but here are my tips in dealing with players who run this weapon. So first off, always make sure that you identify the players with this weapon as they'll have a 600 meter range on you. Uh, the Hydra has a 12 second reload time, so knowing this also helps you um, as it allows you 12 seconds to either attack or to find cover. If you have a physical shield, make sure to use it effectively to minimize the amount of damage taken. Always look at the direction the Hydras are coming from as this helps you in determining how to use your shield in order to block them. If you do not have a physical shield, the next best option is to use an energy shield. So whether it be the Ansel, the Carnage, the Fujin or the Hechi, these are all ways to block missiles in general. In these next couple of clips, you'll see how I use cover to avoid the full impact of hydras. Once again, knowing where the hydras are coming from and the timing of when they are fired helps. I also make sure to use all my surroundings whenever possible. So if I can find a wall, you know, a building, uh, tunnels, bridges, whatever is nearby, I will use it to my advantage. In these last two clips, you'll see how I use a combination of these tips in order to advance on the enemy. In the first clip, I'm using my Galahad shield as well as my teammate's energy shield to avoid the full impact of Hydras. I then move from cover to cover and advance quickly so that I can do damage to the enemy. In the final clip, I'm using a combination of cover and timing to advance on the Hydra player quickly in order to take them out. Anyways guys, hope these tips were helpful. If there's more tips you'd like to offer, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.